Hey everyone, welcome back to more of Islands of Zelda. Okay, we'll be going into a little side dungeon, the sewer dungeon. And this place isn't too big to go through at least. Ridley music. I guess it's sort of fitting because you're kind of underground here. Alright, so you got uh, blue bubbles, and I think that's one of each. I can't tell which one's the item and which one's the sword bubble. They look the same. these guys. It makes things a lot easier. And if you get hit by the red bulb, you just go back to the start. You know, because you have the two blue bubbles there. Now, you notice there are two statues here, if you actually just go explore it, you're actually gonna fall down something. You gotta be pretty careful of that green swampy stuff. That's like toxic water. And I think it does uh, four hearts regardless of your armor. <clears throat> really nothing in this room, but if you look at the kind of floor design, you almost, almost think that looks like Trying to make a little picture of Ridley there or something. Well, that'd be kind of helpful, at least it gives you some protection for a few seconds. Okay, so, you know, the map of this basement isn't that big. You know, so you make sure you've, uh, Set your you set yourself up correctly on the tile here. Don't want to misstep on this. Pick up the boss key. I don't think you can get anything blown with that rock, but, you know, I've got my bomb back for free. And you actually need the boss key just to get out of this basement. And 
and you're just going through the rooms. You know, it's probably about this point that I kind of suddenly recognized where this is coming from. Yeah, you got the walkthrough wall there, or the fake wall. And suddenly realize that this is pretty much almost a exact replicate of the dungeon in uh, Ocarina of Time. I think it was a... Well, that's a sewer as well as was it? No, below the well or something like that. This is almost an exact replica. So basically all the... If you remember what that dungeon looked like, the well, uh, you should remember everything here. So, uh, just a... Oh, I, I'm probably not gonna... I, I'm just gonna get all the secrets later on, actually. Uh, but here, you know, you can go under this. Yeah, single heart, but that was what was in the... OT as well. I think it was a single heart there. Nice little... rendition of this room. Again, the original, you had to light up torches to open the caskets here. Same concept here. So that's just putting a, a three-dimension dungeon into a 2D... 2D sense. Same thing here. Uh, the only difference is that it doesn't... It's normally supposed to drain out the water and you go back to the start, but... Uh, I don't think he was able to recreate it that way, so I have to do it a little different way. Okay, go in here... Yep, Patra 2. Yeah, this is gonna be a little fun to battle. This, you gotta mostly open the room, I guess. I'm trying to get as much damage as you can with your sword beams. And having magic sword is very handy, because you really don't want to take on this guy with a white sword. for that battle. And you get the expected item, similar to OOT, you know, Lens of Truth. Okay, so you can actually use it in this room. It uses up magic, so you gotta be a little careful. I'm actually putting our extra magic to use. Uh, there was a spot here, it was a Gorilla statue. This takes you to another room, and it doesn't look like anything in here, but if you use your lens, you can find a spot here as a jar. And you find a whole bunch of money in here. Actually, similar to the well. I think that had 200 rupees as well. 
Ah, uh, might as well pick this up. Actually, I can use that to buy some stuff anyway. Finding secrets around here. Uh, so again, this room I gave you. Remember, Ocarina of Time is pretty much an exact replica. So this room has you know, again those your hidden holes there. to save some magic, but there are more hidden walls in some of these rooms. And again, if you remember where you search, you know, and there's a pit above. Even when I first played this, even without the lens, I already pretty much remember where all the um, secrets were. around the place. <laughs> just get around all those guys. And again, if you use your lens here, yeah, there's a little flashing white squares there are basically pits. Just a big jar there for refills, in case you're short on magic. Pick up another magic expansion. Actually go through the center here and get into the main area. Again, similar to the original. And it's also an easy way to get around the red bubbles. You just go to the center of this place. And I even replicated the kind of the giant X in the middle there. And yes, there there's a pit in the center of that. Again, to get the compass, you gotta go around the the fake wall, because there's a pit below me. Ah, oh, free magic. I'll take the extra free gift there. This one, I think you get a, a super bomb for 
taking out that land mauler. I'm just gonna leave that there. Ah, another piece of work. And of course, there's not gonna be a open room, yeah. The whole room is filled with pits. Again, I'm probably gonna leave those super bombs for later, since I do come by here anyway. Now you can bomb this little crack here, uh, it leads you to another super bomb. Okay, so need some got a nice item, the lens of truth. And you could use it on the left, like you know, when you where I dive, um, I dove to get that one heart piece. You know, it would reveal that for you. Very nice little thing uh, uh, used for the lens. Again, it just kind of drains magic quickly, so you can't spam it. Okay, now I can afford these bombs, uh, extra bombs here. Yeah, the super bombs is kind of weird how many you can carry. Um, and it's not a direct, like, 2 to 1 or 4 to 1 ratio. Because I think... At least from what I tested before, I think I can carry 6 right now. So I think you start with 2. And then every expansion lets you carry two more supers. And there are a lot of free super bombs out here, so I'll try to save them for later. Okay, so we got the sewer dungeon out of the way. Picked the Lens of Truth. And uh, next part, we'll probably just do more exploration. Still a lot more ocean to explore. Try to make our way towards the, uh, that seafarer island. Alright, see you guys later.